Created by Mike Frantangelo and Scott Stahl in April of 2012. The description from their website states, Slow burning and intensely flavorful hot sauce, born in Rochester and manufactured in Syracuse. They thought, microbrewing seems to be doing well, why not micro saucing? Uh, below in the link I'll have a description to their Facebook page as well as to the website where you can purchase some of their sauce online. But without further ado, let's get to the sauce. Alright, so check this out. I'm going to have a uh, close-up picture right here so you can see what the uh, bottle looks like. Very simple design. I like it. Uh, it says inner temperature. It's got two little uh, flames sitting next to it, so it's probably a good mid-level heat. Uh, for ingredients, very simple again. It says distilled vinegar, sugar, onion, peppers, salt, spice, and garlic. Not sure what peppers, but I definitely see a bunch of seeds floating in there and a bunch of nice little chunks of peppers, which is good. Um, sodium's at 30 milligrams, so um, it's not too bad. Still pretty low when you consider what you're supposed to be, your daily intake's supposed to be, and I doubt you're going to drink a whole bottle or tablespoons like we do. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, cut this bad boy open and see what we've got inside. Give this a good shake as always. And what do we got? on aroma. It's got a very pleasant aroma. I'm really... I was kind of expecting to get a strong vinegar flavor and I'm really not getting that. It's nice. It's kind of... Uh, I guess I'm picking up the, the peppers, some of the spices that they have in there. Uh, smells really good. The consistency is... Uh, it's a good consistency. It's not... Um, you know, it's definitely on the more fluid side, more runny, but it's got some good chunks in there. All right, let's get a taste if I don't spill it here. Mm. Mm. Very good. Wow. I like that. I like that the heat isn't just blowing your face off. It's got a good, nice, mild burn. Um, again, us chili heads have these ridiculously high tolerances, so, you know, I mean, for me, this would, um, uh, I would definitely say that for your person, for your, you know, average consumer, someone who may not be into eating all super, super hot stuff, this might be um, pretty high to you. For me, uh, I think I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 10 on heat. Um, it's just got a nice, mild, all-around burn. It's a great flavor. Uh, that's something that I really like about this is, again, I was expecting, you know, a distilled vinegar taste. This is really nice, good blend. I'm picking up whatever spices they use in this. It gives it such a nice flavor. Uh, again, and it's got a sweetness to it, again, from the sugar. I'm definitely getting a little bit of the onion in the aftertaste. Wow, great sauce. Definitely, uh... Definitely check this one out. I guess so for flavor, let's give this one a, uh, I'll give this one a, a 6 out of 10 on flavor. It's got a, a really nice all around flavor. Texture is good. It's different. It's not the same. For having just so few ingredients, it's got uh, just a, a great flavor to it, a different kind of flavor than I was expecting. So well done, Mike and Scott. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for sending this out to me. Um, again, there'll be links down in the description. Uh, please join me on Facebook. I try to connect with you guys a lot there. I'm always checking my Facebook, always checking my Gmail. Uh, definitely leave me down in a, a, you know, a comment down below. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody and as always, stay toasty my friend.